Now look here, guys. You want to tell you something. This is a serious scientific question. How on earth do they get all of that into this little can? Magic. They spray it. Wait, hold on. I think we had the correct scientific answer over there. Magic. Who said that? What is it? Magic. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. Hey, that's not the right answer. Oh. Maybe there's a more scientific answer over here. Compression. Compression. Yes. Um, what did you say? They spray it in there, maybe. But here's what I want to say. Guys, when we think about this, someone might say, it's about 11 ounces, right? Or someone might say, how, how, how much is in there? They might say something that fits within about, about a two inch diameter and about a six inch bottle, about that much. Well, that's what we got. Guys, I want, I want you to think about something. We just got done talking about prayer. And during that time, you may have thought, oh, this is pretty boring, you know. Uh, I'm not really super concerned. Guys, I want to tell you one thing. The way that a lot of people think about prayer is they think about this. They think about, well, yeah, you know, prayer. We do it in the morning uh, with my family or on Sundays when I'm at church. So it goes within about a two-inch diameter circle and a five-inch can. And that's the way we do prayer. But the way that God thinks of prayer is a lot more. And there's always more. The way that God thinks about prayer is always more. Ephesians 3.20 says, He's able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we can think of or even imagine for His own glory. So guys, I don't want you to think about prayer like, like this defined thing. It's 11 ounces and it fits in a uh, can that's gray, that's 5 inches tall and about 2 inches diameter. I want you to think about more and more and more is God's way of prayer. What, the, what kind of access do we have to God Almighty by prayer? Don't think of it, oh, something we do on Sunday. No, it's something we have, can have any time and understand appropriately what the Scripture says. He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly more than we could ask for or even imagine. This is Ephesians 3.20. To him who is able to do far more abundantly than all we ask or think according to the power at work within us, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. So this access that we have to be able to communicate with God to be able to talk to God Almighty is a huge blessing. It's much more than what the world looks at and they say, oh, well, they just do this prayer thing on, on Friday nights or they have their prayer meeting on Wednesday. No, no, we got way more. We got more because we can talk to God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, the one who knit you together in your mother's womb. That's what we have. So don't think about this, guys. Think about the one who's able to do exceedingly, abundantly more and more and more. Okay? Now we have someone who wants to experience the shaving cream. Yes. 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 Want to take that it? sweatshirt? You got a t-shirt on? No. Want to take that sweatshirt off? Can I do it? Huh? Can I do it? Can I do it? What? No, 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 no. You want to help him? You want to help him have the experience? Now this, my friends, is what we call growing in Christian brotherly love. Do you see this? Now this is a great example. He wants to help his brother experience the joy of camp. That is nice. This is love. Oh, no. I didn't want to. Yes, 